Hey, how's everyone doing today? Doing okay here. Thanks for asking. I don't really have a, a normal video right now. I just have a lot on my mind. Of course, if uh, if you've looked at my uh, description of my channel, you know it's about um, getting up, getting out, getting ready, and doing it to it. Uh, it's also about fighting depression, uh, anxiety. Um, I've been fighting depression for a lot of years, um, and it comes. It stems from a lot of things, uh, from physical problems uh, to um, relationship problems that I've had uh, in my marriage in the past to uh, basically humanity and uh, how we treat one another anymore. Uh, it's about um, how far humanity has uh, de-evolved, gone downhill, um, as like uh, concerning uh, like the state of just uh, how people are, um, all the drug use, the alcohol, uh, prescription drugs, uh, manufactured drugs, whatever the case may be. Um, dealing with you know stuff like that in your own family more so on my wife's side um a certain guy that's her brother and uh hey you just see how how lost and how far some people are in the world and they had all the chances in the world um Sure, he came from a broken family. Uh, so did I. My, you know, I grew up with a single parent, a mom. Uh, you know, no one's childhood is perfect. Or most people's childhoods are not perfect. But uh, the way, the amount of the people that I see uh, just... On drugs, strung out on drugs, getting arrest, arrested uh, every day. Um, and we're talking about in small town Tennessee. And we're not talking about cities, large metropolises, <laughs> uh, things of that nature. We're talking small towns. Um, drugs and alcohol and all that have always been around. It's nothing new. However, um, it's just like the amount of uh, ill-mannered children that are in the world nowadays as compared to whenever I was young. Sure, there was still ill-mannered children in the world, but the amount has risen. And it's just like with drugs and alcohol, lazy, uh, entitlement, just disgusting habits. Uh, I don't want to say disgusting people because then that kind of sounds a little harsh because sometimes it's not necessarily the person that's disgusting, it's what's got a hold of them. Um... You know, I don't know what the answer is, and there probably isn't an answer to it, honestly. I mean, what, you know, what do you do? What do you do with, uh, with the drug ep epidemic? What do you do with the lackadaisical attitude, non-work ethic attitude, the entitlement adult attitude, you know, the... Nothing matters attitude. What do you do about all that? I'm at a loss. I really don't know. And no, it has nothing to do with God. 
We don't need God back in the world. Back in school. Back in this. Back in that. We don't need... It's not a God thing. It's a... Where has... The... Supervision gone thing. Where has the... Authority gone... You know, when I was a kid, uh, we feared adults. You need to have fear. Um, and it's not like, oh my God, uh, they're going to shoot me in the face kind of fear like you have nowadays. It was just a respectful fear because that's an adult. That's an important person. And they stood for something and they taught you and... Yeah, you weren't perfect, you still screwed up here and there, but you knew there was consequences. Um, I'm kind of rambling on, I don't know exactly what I'm trying to discuss, to be honest. It's just, everything's kind of clouded in my head. And, uh, I don't know, it's just, I... A lot of it, a lot of what's wrong with me anymore is I just have such a hatred, such a dislike for people that it secludes me. It keeps me from enjoying anyone or anything a lot of the time. Um, family get-togethers, I don't care about family get-togethers really anymore. Um... The people that I that I meet on the streets and stuff, I don't care about them anymore. You know, I ride my bike, and of course I'm not going 30 miles per hour on my bike. I'm cruising along at 1 mile per hour to 10 miles per hour, half the time. And you'll go past people, and you wave, and hey, how you doing? And, uh... You get no responses. You know, being a small town, being any town, really, small town, you're supposed to be, you know, you're known as this, uh, just this friendly place and how, uh, friendly and loving and all that that southerners are and all this stuff. And it's just a big, it's a fake, it's just fake. It's a facade. It's, it's not real. Um, it, for the most part, I'm not saying there's not other people out there that are like me or that want to be, you know, certain ways and this and that, but it, in a, as a majority, people don't care, you know, you'll go right by someone on your bike, hey, how you doing, they don't even acknowledge you, no headphones, no earbuds, they just, you know, Years ago, there would have been a, hi, how you doing? Hi, how you doing? Good, great, have a good day. Hey, you too, no problem, all right, see ya. Times have changed just so dramatically that it's, it's nauseating. I can't, I can't really even hardly describe it. Um, like, I just have such a disgust for people. Um... As you probably know, watching my videos, you see that I have a uh, school bus out in my driveway. I am a full-time bus driver. That's all I do now. Um, I have I have probably 40 kids on the bus now. This is my new route, so I have more kids and everything. So, um, and just comparing kids. On the bus, comparing them now, compared to when I was a kid, let's say we have a school bus of 40 kids in 1980. In 1980, that school bus driver would probably have trouble with two kids. That would be a real pain in the butt type of kid. Uh, nowadays, that same bus driver with 40 kids is going to have about mm, 8, 
seven to eight kids that are a constant, constant bother. Um, nobody listens. Kids don't listen. Adults don't listen. Nobody listens to anything uh, except for what's in their own head. And that's probably not a good thing. Uh, I'm just, you know, I've only been on this earth for 47 years. It's going to be 48 years, November 30th. Um, and in my short amount of time on this earth, I have literally seen it go from a place that I've seen hopes and dreams and full of wonder and excitement and friendly people and not having to worry about leaving your door unlocked and not having to worry about walking in a parking lot at night or not even at night <laughs> during the middle of the day uh, you see all these things happening now in mass numbers nobody cares a kid's liable to come up on my bus pop me with a gun not even think about it don't even care Baseball bat to the head, Negan style, walking dead for those of you. And I just don't get it. I don't understand why we've let our country get this way. And I do believe it's mostly our country. No, I, I just have no doubt. Um, it's really sad. And the whole the whole drug issue, like my wife works in restaurant, and she is probably one of three or four in that entire restaurant that doesn't do some sort of drugs. She smokes, and that's horrible. However, I'm talking about you know recreational drugs and you know, man-made type stuff, and uh, prescription, you know, all that kind of stuff. I'm talking about drugs. Meth, coke, all that stuff. Um, I, I, she's probably one of three that doesn't do something. And uh, that's the case everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, that's the case. Every restaurant in our town is full of people who do drugs and I'm just talking to restaurants because that's kind of what's on my mind right now I, uh, I'm on Facebook and I have a group that I'm in called Rants and Raves and there's a lot of talk of restaurant problems you know with food and service and so that's that's what I'm getting at and and it's because of all the drugs the lazy people that work there whether they're kids or adults lackadaisical eat crap attitudes just they don't care they go from this job to this job to this job nobody cares um and i don't know if there's ever gonna be a time when things are normal again it just doesn't look good and it eats at me because i'm one of those people that just likes i like things to just go well you know like i didn't like, you didn't hear about all this for so long, and now it's just so prominent in our daily lives that it just it eats at you sometimes, and it brings you down, which isn't good whenever you've already, whenever you already suffer depression and stuff like that. It's not good. So I don't know, guys. And I know a lot of people don't watch my channel or anything, so I'm not going to get a million comments on on your thoughts but those of you that are subscribed to my channel maybe give your thoughts and opinions on things things maybe that you have experienced and that you see every day um, just what do you think what do you feel how do you feel inside about the world that we live in today oh I have my name tag on don't look at my name so, I don't know, I didn't really, I don't really have a normal video planned for today, and just things were on my mind, and 
So I thought I'd upload, thought I'd record this and then upload it and just see what I get out of it. So, anyways guys, try to put on a smile today. Try to enjoy it. I know here it's a beautiful day. A little chilly out. But uh, it's beautiful out. I'm going to go for a bike ride uh, after my afternoon bus route. And uh, try to be a positive influence to people. Because we need more of that in our society. Our country. Uh, colors don't matter. Religious views don't matter. Political views don't matter. You know, uh, all these things don't matter. Just try to spread some joy to someone. And if more people do it, then maybe it'll catch on. You know? Uh... So yeah, just tell me your thoughts and opinions on things, and uh, I hope you enjoyed kind of my little talk, discussion, or if not, hey, give me a thumbs down, I understand. Well, I'm going to get off here and get ready to go about my day, do this route, and then go for a bike ride. Guys, don't forget, even when having kind of a serious discussion, you can always get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. We'll see you later, guys.